So what's the difference between Cloudflare's Flexible SSL, Full SSL, and Full Strict SSL? I'll explain. Hi, this is Yang Wang here. It's 5.10 a.m., so I need to keep my voice down. Um, but uh, for several businesses, I use Cloudflare, and it's great because it uh, offers um, a lot of tools to both enhance the speed of the website, the performance, and also in uh, keeping the website secure. But there is a feature called um, um, under SSL called Flexible SSL. Now, the question that I have that I uh, researched was what's the difference between Flexible SSL, full, and full script SSL? Um, in short, <coughs> Flexible SSL means that the data from your customer and your and Cloudflare is encrypted, but Cloudflare to your web server is not encrypted. So that means that the encryption only happens for halfway of the journey, which if you are accepting payments uh, or any kind of sensitive information, this is a huge no -no. And if you're accepting payments, it's a violation of the PCI DSS standards, supported by Visa, MasterCard, Discover American Express. I have another video explaining that. You can just search on my channel. Um, and if you're in violation of this, you your business could get risk of uh, getting some heavy, heavy fines. Um, and I've worked uh, in the credit card processing industry in the past, and I've seen some of the examples that uh, were sent forth. And these were all just giant companies, and these were small businesses as well. So just keep that in mind. Full SSL means that um, the data from your customer to Cloudflare to your server, it's all encrypted, but there's no validation of the SSL certificate. So that means that, that if somebody maybe uh, hacks into your website um, or and gets access to the web hosting control panel or your server, they can generate their own self sign SNL certificate and that could pose some serious um, issues. Um, for strict SSL means that <coughs> the transmission between your customer to Cloudflare and from Cloudflare to your web host is encrypted or your web server is encrypted as well as from your web server uh, it also validates with the certificate authority and the certificate authority is just a faster term, um, meaning um, what provider of SSL that you purchased it from. Um, and some of the popular SSL certificate uh, companies include Komodo, GeoTrust, Symantec. A lot of these offices uses GoDaddy uh, SSL, which I highly, highly do not recommend, um, but that's uh, for a different video. Um, so, in summary, if you are accepting any kind of sensitive information, you absolutely cannot use flexible SSL. Flexible SSL is nice if you just want to maybe um, uh, for you know if, if if you are not collecting any sensitive information, but you still want that uh, green HTTPS thing in the address bar. But other than that, you uh, you definitely need full or full script. Uh, the full script is the one that I use for my uh, businesses. Um, and I imagine that uh, that's the one that um, will, that not only will your credit card processing company appreciate um, because you're not breaking the rules, but also it just adds an extra man protection for you. Hopefully, you found this video explanation on the difference between flexible SSL full and full strict uh, helpful and if you have please like this video feel free to post in the comments below um, and as a side note this is a very simplified explanation um, if we break it down there are additional uh, technical factors uh, contributing to each one but for the purpose and intent of this video i'll leave as that um, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel check out some of my other videos i have tons of videos on digital marketing including AdWords, SEO, email marketing, and press release distribution, which may be really helpful for, uh, for your business. 
So check this out. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing.